Right now, 6 o'clock, some more fallout as multiple investigations into a Houston surgeon accused of manipulating donor database information at Memorial Hermann continue. Tonight, we are hearing from two transplant patients with different experiences with Dr. Steve Bynum. I still don't believe that Dr. Bynum would have done anything he, he really didn't seem friendly, so I really believe that was actually happening. Joining us, I'm Keith Garman. And I'm Daniela Guzman. We have team coverage tonight pushing to get answers to questions that many of you have. And we're going to begin right now with KPRC 2's Will Wanna Balogun, who is live in the Texas Medical Center tonight with much more reaction from some of Dr. Bynum's former patients. And Will Wanna, what do they have to say to you? Yeah, Daniela Keith, listen, it's been a mixed bag from the patient, former patients I've spoken with. We know Dr. Steve Bynum is under multiple investigations, including one by Memorial Hermann and at least one by a federal agency. I was shocked and horrified because Dr. Bynum, the Dr. Bynum that worked on my brother and me is, is not a person who would do anything untoward. Mary McHenry taken aback as she heard allegations. Dr. Steve Bynum manipulated government database, preventing some of his own patients from getting new livers. There's got to be more than this, and I support him 100%. The surgeon operated on her brother when he needed a kidney transplant, and she was the perfect match. And that's why you reached out to us, because you want to share the experience you and your brother had Absolutely. with Dr. Bynum. It was the gold standard. Cedric Dixon had a different experience. But he didn't really seem friendly at all. And I've met a lot of transplant doctors that, you know, they just didn't seem like they were real friendly. But when I heard that, I believe it. Monday, you were told by a coordinator at Memorial Hermann that the program was being shut down. Did they help you try to get you help elsewhere? No, but be, being myself, I know I'm the only one that care about myself. So what I did, as soon as I got off the phone with her, I called Methodist. Ultimately, Dixon was able to get an appointment at Baylor St. Luke. Being a patient, a kidney patient, you get this often where you feel like you've been looked over. Now, a spokesperson at Baylor St. Luke tells me that they have received a number of patient referrals from Memorial Hermann since last week. Same goes for Houston Methodist, adding that they've received patients from both the department's liver and kidney transplant programs.